Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we are looking at Plastic Soldier Company's Allied Sherman M4A4 and Firefly Tanks. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter box set. You can tell by the black header. It has five vehicles in there. Uh, my guess is you're going to get five sprues, and on those sprues, you're going to have two different turret options uh, to make either the Firefly or the standard M4A4. All right, so let's take a look at the back of the box here. Okay, nice looking Firefly tanks. Uh, five Sherman tanks. Each sprue has the option to build either the M4A4 or Firefly variant and includes a commander figure. That's very nice. Uh, I find this to be a little funny. I was looking at this picture. Um, I don't know if it's funny or if it's atypical or if it's just a meme, but um, this commander's got a handlebar mustache. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay. Um, one thing I love about Plastic Soldier Company and their uh, miniatures, miniature box sets, they almost always include a painting guide. And this painting guide, uh, uh, it's really good. Because let's say I was to buy this box off the shelf at a store. Uh, the, and then I said to myself, I wonder if I have the right paints. Well, I could look at the box. It tells me that they're Vallejo paints. Uh, I'm going to need Russian uniform, gunmetal, brown violet, olive drab, or brown beige. Well, I need all those. Uh, and it says, as a general rule, brown violet for U.S. Shermans, olive drab, and Russian uniform for British Shermans. Okay, because it's a little bit greener where the brown violet's a little bit browner. Uh, Gunmetal for the tracks and brown beige for the wooden parts. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I would also use gunmetal for like shovel handles and uh, axe handles and hammers. And if there was any machine gun barrels, I don't see any. Uh, but um, this is kind of implying that they would paint the shovels, which they would. But I, I used gunmetal just to make it stand out more. Uh, okay, so for guidance only, not actual size, right? We recommend the use of weathering techniques such as dry brushing. Uh, okay, basically they're saying we recommend going the full nine yards. Okay, well, let's. this is a what's in the box. So let's see exactly what you get inside this box. Looks like five sprues and an instruction manual. Okay. First things first, all these sprues are exactly the same. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at one sprue and you'll understand that you get five of them. Okay, let's look at this instruction manual. Okay, it is double-sided and it's color-coded. So it's telling me that the green is for the Firefly and the Blue is for the 75. Okay, the tops of those turrets, oh, that's got an additional hatch. You got different mantlets. Uh, you're going to have, of course, a different barrel because of the, the, the length of the Firefly. Okay. And then it gives you the assembly instructions which is pretty straightforward, I would assume. You've got a track assembly with an additional tractor wheel that goes on a top and a lower track. You turret assemble that. Uh, this is only showing the Firefly version because it's got that big box on the back. That's, that's kind of a giveaway, and it's got the barrel... Uh, 
the re okay they they add the 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 ridges separately interesting and like additional tracks laid right up in the middle doesn't have to go there but that's a good spot for it okay let's take a look at the sprue wait we got two holes one is for the 75 and one is for the firefly I'm looking for differences Well, this one has the gun, the, tr the traveling gun mount on the back, the, you know, the thing that holds the barrel in place. That's in the back. Where on most American Shermans, I think it's in the front, but this doesn't have one in the front, so I don't know. Uh, there's a Pintel mount machine gun. I wonder where that would go because I don't see it on. I don't see it anywhere on there. I do see a machine gun there. But that looks okay. That might be a barrel. I'm looking over here for those pieces. These two pieces I don't even see on this sprue. These sprues are not exactly the same. Notice how notice how the bottom of the turret is in between the two top turrets. We're on the in the instruction, it's off to the side. So this instruction is not this. So you'll have to just kind of figure it out. Okay, so that is probably that barrel, and that is probably that barrel. So you just have to kind of figure out which pieces go where. Okay, that looks like the machine gun mount because it's got a, a ammo can. There's a couple of tracks. That's good. I wonder, okay. Yeah, they got the additional armor plates already mounted on the sides of these holes. That's good. I But I wonder if I could put the tracks and the hull and everything together and then the top turrets, I wonder if I could not glue them down and swap them out. But I probably wouldn't be able to do that. There's additional track armor that doesn't even show it on here or on there. Uh, there's your commander. And then those are those front plates that fit down into those grooves. Okay. There's another track. So, you, okay, those are really wide. That's really narrow. Okay, those might be on the rails. Okay. And then it's got a couple of accessories. You got a wheel and a jerry can, which would go up. Okay, there's a track over here as well. But like there's a wheel. That looks like a box of some kind. There is a box right here. I could probably... There's a couple of accessories it looks like right here. But on the... On the Firefly, you're supposed to have these boxes on the back of the turret
you know, these aren't in the same place as that. Okay, you got one box up here, which is that guy. And then these two boxes here are probably that and that. Yeah, it's a little confusing. So if you if you didn't know what you were doing, you might get a little lost. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why do I have four tracks? I got two sides, top and bottom. There we go. Yeah, I got enough Shermans, American Shermans. I think I need to just make some British Shermans. So I think I need to make some, I, I really need some Fireflies. I've got a bunch of 76s, but they don't have the same turret and hull as a Firefly. Plus, this is an M4A4, which means it's going to have the welded hull. It's got the straight edges. It's not cast. But the holes, the, the, the main body looks exactly the same, except for the where the gear is, is at. The front... Okay, the yeah, that's got it. That's got a gas can. Gas. It's it looks a little different. The way the machine gun it looks just is a little different as well. Because I don't see the machine gun getting mounted onto the Firefly. There's no real whole machine gun. That might just be hidden. But the... Uh, Yeah, I don't see a machine gun there, but I do see a machine gun down here on the 75. Oh, and there's the tractors. Okay, they go into the, there. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a close look at this tank sprue and see what you get. All right, let's take a look. Let's start with the hull. Uh, this would be the M4 hull because of the machine gun mount hole right there on the front, plus the way the gas cap uh, right there is is armored. And then we and and let's take a look at the hatches. They look a little detailed as well uh, but the rest of it I think is all pretty close to the same except maybe where all the accessories are located because you can see these accessories uh, are pretty much the same uh, this only has an axe and a shovel where that has an axe a shovel and a pickaxe head uh, this has your breaker bar off to the right. This does not. Okay. So it's a little, this has a, this has the tow chain that goes around. This one does not. So yeah, you're looking at a little bit slightly different details. There's the gas cap that doesn't exist. Uh, it's located there. Well, it has one there too. Uh -huh. You can see how that machine gun's been like welded over. Okay, and on this, you got that toe mount right there where you don't see that mount back here 
or even in the front as well. It's not on there at all. Okay, and then this is the lower hull. It's got a little bit of detail. And then you're looking at the tracks. Pretty good detail on that. You're going to need to add the toe right there, those tractor wheels. And then you got a couple of accessories here. Uh, this is the front lower, and you can see there's a couple of grooves that you need to place this, these two plates in those grooves. There we go. And then this looks like an accessory box that goes on the side of the hull, I would think, but maybe on the back of the turret. Let's just flip this over. Um, there we go. And then we got the machine gun. You got three types of mantlets. Uh, and then you got the traversing plate on the inside. And then what do we got? We got a pintle. And I believe that's the cupola. And then these boxes, I do believe, are on the back of the Firefly. This is just a box top. Hmm, not sure what that attaches to. We got a couple of track links here. We got a barrel. This is the other barrel and the machine gun. That is probably the piece that the box top goes on. I don't know. And then the two turrets. One of them is the 75, which is this one. And then one of them, it, okay, there's only one bottom of the turret. So you're really only going to be able to make one turret. Okay. And then uh, that's where the cupola squeezes down inside. Okay, that's where, probably where that either the box goes in or the box top goes on, I'm guessing. There's your commander, which will fit down inside the cupola if you want. If not, you would just close the hatches. Yeah. Hmm. There's three different types of mantlets, so I'm not sure why you have three of them. Because you only have a 75 or a... Oh, one might be a British 75, one might be an American 75. And then the other... Or maybe not, I don't know. I'd have to take a look to see why they give you three of those. Alright, we're back on the table. Just looking at this, it does show three mantlets right here. And on the blue one, which is a 75, it shows two of them in use. Maybe you can use one or the other, but you can't use both at the same time. All right, well, that's gonna require a little bit more research. All right, well, thanks for coming out and checking out this what's in the box for the M4A4 and Firefly. Uh, my guess is one is for the American and one is for the British 75, or maybe early and late war, and then the Firefly is always gonna use the same uh, mantlet. All right, if you like this video, please like the video. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos like this, be sure to hit the notification icon. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.